Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading for March 23rd through the 29th. Now this is a general read, so it may not resonate with you. Um, if it does, please make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, at the end of this week, I will look back at last week's and whoever had the most volume of engagement will get a free release bonus extended. Um, I'll do the same at the end of next week for this week. If you do not want to do the extended membership, if you do want to do the extended membership, the link is down in the description box and um, it is for the whole month. You will get all of the extendeds. So if you are a cross watcher, um, it will give you a variety of ways to sit back and try to go into the judgment of what you think is happening with your person. Because we never do that, do we? No, we never do that. So, what does Sweet, the Sagittarians need to know about the possibilities of love for March 23rd through the 29th. So overall energy, we have nine of wands. So whatever's going on, you've put up walls and you're not aggressive about it but you are prepared if you had to, to fight. From the most recent past, we have the Three of Wands. So with the Three of Wands energy, you were moving slowly towards happiness, small steps at a time. And so it doesn't necessarily mean that you were walking towards someone. It could be that you were slowly walking away from someone. And for a lot of you, I feel like you were slowly leaving something behind, walking away from something. Current energy, nine of pentacles. You're happy, you're content, you're working on your stability, you're working on yourself. So, you know, that is fantastic. And the future energy of six of pentacles with this six of pentacles, I love that the last pentacle hasn't quite hit into that hand. And so what you're seeing here is something coming in that's not quite there yet in all of those wonderful sunny colors, all of those good warm stability like chakras. So you have something coming in that isn't quite there yet, but that will be very balanced and stable. So let's clarify this nine of wands for Sagittarius. So we get the Knight of Pentacles and the Princess of Pentacles along with the Knight of Swords. So whatever you've been dealing with, I feel like the person that you were dealing with they were really not in the same headspace as you. Um, they were having a little bit too more fun. They had cold feet a little bit. They were not really showcasing 100% of what they desired from the relationship. So you have them, they're looking away from you. They're trying to see where can I go have fun? How can I just, you know, not deal with this? But here's you with the Princess of Pentacles saying, you know, well, if you're not going to put into this, neither am I. And I see all of this value that I can be working on for myself. And so I'm not going to go there. And so you've moved away, walls up. Again, you're not being like malicious or anything. But with the Knight of Swords coming up, the walking away did cause you some pain, but you are totally internalizing it. And with you see, you can see that little bit of light coming up behind. You are like higher self, show me what's right about this, which is a really healthy manner 
to be dealing with this. So what does Sagittarius need to know about this past energy of the Three of Wands? So we have King of Cups. So I feel like there was a lot of love from you from this person, but they were not open and available to share that with you. A lot of what they were doing was not bringing it forth into this, you know, distinct reality. Um, two of Swords. So there was some conflicts. There was a lot of challenges and choices and a lot of red flags, I feel, for some of you. With the Eight of Wands, it felt like things were getting better, that obstacles were being removed. So, you know, I can see why that would bring up some of that Knight of Swords energy. So let me clarify what does Sagittarius need to know about this Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, you are the Empress. You are feeling good about yourself. You're feeling good for all the right reasons. Five of Cups, I feel like you're trying to work through those Knight of Swords, the pains, work through any of the instabilities that you may still have, any of the lingering doubt that you did the right thing. Because what you want is you're wanting that Ten of Cups relationship. You're wanting Ten of Cups. You're wanting something like that to move forward into your life. And so you are creating a space for that to happen. Let's clarify this future energy. Six of Pentacles. Well, it gave you two, so we'll take them all, I guess. It felt right. So we get the star. So you're bringing in the light. You're bringing in the light to remove the darkness, to show you where you need to go so that you can have this new stable relationship. Now, I'm getting, so we've got death. So it is time for the rebirth. It is time for something new to come in. However, we've got Seven of Cups and Knight of Cups. So you have options that are going to be coming to you, multiple options. But I feel like with the Knight of Cups, what you are being told is again, don't allow this person that is not ready to fully commit to you, whether it's a reconciliation of this past person or someone new that is repeating a pattern to come in and take up your value bowl, like very valuable time and effort to repeat the cycle all again. So let's clarify some of this for Sagittarius. And I feel like you learned a lot through this last cycle and that's fantastic. The question is, did you learn enough that with death that you really are going to move past it and not take that on anymore. So let's clarify your Knight of Swords energy, Sagittarius. So again, Page of Pentacles, you're judging the fact that you allow people in and they're not fully in and you still give and give and give. With the Six of Pentacles, 
we can see you are so giving and you're judging yourself for, I feel like for many of you, you feel like you get taken advantage of because of your big heart. Um, and I don't believe that that's true. I don't believe that you're getting taken advantage of. I believe that, you know, you're learning lessons and you're contributing to the collective. And with the Seven of Swords, though, it's showing that you're tired of the internal fight within yourself. You feel like you have done as much as you can work-wise on this. You want to move into the sunshine. You want to be done with this. But we have this one bird that's like here at the front that's talking to me that's still like this internal part of you that's like, feed me. So for some of you, I feel like, you know, there is still this inner wounding that you haven't fully worked through or cleared out that has this craving for love, for affection, for acceptance that you're willing to let someone like this in in order to get it. And that's what you're trying to make sure you do not do again. So, you know, let's clarify your King of Cups that So just so you know, I mean, this person, they were connected to you in a special way with this sun. We have all of that geometric pattern, that sacred geometry, opening up your crown chakra. You were meant to learn from this person. I mean, obviously, you know, this was a soul connection. With the Empress, it was broadening your goal. Like you can see, so there's this light that's around this moon and it comes down past the Empress, down, circles around the earth and leaves. Now I feel like this is the energy that we're all kind of feeling right now that is attached to what's going on in the world right now. So there was all of this inner deception within all of us. And so this light was like, let's clear out all of this inner deception, all of this, this idea that tomorrow's another day and you can put off your purpose for another day and you can, you know, deal with someone not being at the level that you need them to for another day. Like all of these sort of attitudes and let's clear that out. And let's clear that and all of the energy associated with that away from the earth and move that energy away. And I feel like that's what so many of us are doing. And this person with the justice card, they needed to come in so that you would be able to be reflective of that and aware of that in order to be able to move forward, um, facilitate change for yourself, but also facilitate change overall for the divine masculine, divine feminine, for the whole collective, for the earth. They've gone crazy. We're not taking all of those. What popped out was Seven of Wands, reminding us that we all have options. Again, take what resonates with you. I want to clarify, though, this Five of Cups from the current energy. So you're working on now rebalancing with this five of cup energy. And so I get with the 10 of wands, it's because 
you have, you know, done this whole journey, if you look at that, it almost has the same like lights coming down that pathway that was on the Empress. So you have gone through this journey. You're ready to start again, but you're really starting from scratch. Like this is like very like low level um, pioneer. So you're starting almost like you have leveled up and you're at the base of this new level. The Ace of Swords that came up is showing me that you are, you've cleared out and you are still clearing out these past beliefs that do not serve you in order to bring in what you desire. And so I'll show you in a second, but you look at what's coming in here by this stairwell, the messages. You have some of that sacred geometry. You have that infinity symbol. You know, there's the flower. There's the divine feminine. There's the divine masculine. So you're clearing things out to bring all of that in to be done with that past sort of pain that you were triggering yourself with. And with the will, again, it's a 10. So we had the 10 of wands. We have the 10, the will, that it is a new start, a new beginning, a new level to move forward with so that you can bring in that 10 of cups. Ten of Cups, the Wheel, Ten of Wands, all very aligned to the same destination. So let's clarify death from this future energy. So we get Eight of Wands, the Moon, King of Pentacles. So part of what I'm getting here with the King of Pentacles is don't get into the mindset that everything is about your coins and about creating and forgetting to bring in the energies of that highest level, you know, vibration of love. Because you can be quite happy with this King of Pentacles energy, but it's um, also very just isolated. And I feel like some of you might actually be enjoying this isolation and that also is a pattern that death is telling you to remove. Now with the moon here, we have, you know, this, you can see this person, but you can also see that there is something with this person under the water that looks like the same sort of spirit from judgment from this deck. So it's like, and you see also, you see that, that light that looks like the light from the Empress. So I feel like it's telling you that you are needing to accept how much you are contributing to your own growth, to the growth of others, to the earth, to the water, um, to eliminating the overall deception and to bringing the divine feminine and the divine masculine into union. And as you accept that, eight of wands magic will start taking place in your life to bring in what you desire. Now, if you focus on, again, focus on that seven of cups where you have all of the options, there's a chance that you will, you're only at the beginning base of this level. You could easily slide back 
and bring in a Knight of Cups, right? So let's clarify this Seven of Cups future energy. So don't rush things. Temperance is saying, look for the balance. Don't rush things. Don't automatically grab at that lower level vibration. Light and dark always coming forward. Wait, let it take the time. Grab onto that light, to that sunshine. When you do that, it will be because you have been taking your time with the Seven of Pentacles, watching, looking, allowing things to move at the pace that they are meant, not to rush things, let things grow the way that they're going to grow. When you do that, you will be sent your emperor rather than this playboy. Because you don't want the playboy, you want the emperor. And you will be sent the emperor if you give it this time to come forward. So let's pull some cards from the universe for Sagittarians. No. There we go. There we go. Again, Seven of Pentacles, it wants me to really quantify that you have to take the time to make sure that you allow this to slowly develop as you are having these different choices. Don't rush into one. Let them simmer and grow in the way that they need to so that you can look past whatever deception might be in the situation to choose your right choice. And when you choose what is right for you, what's going to come through is that lovers equal, remember, six of pentacles, equal relationship, equal give and take, hierophant, somebody who wants that same commitment that you want. So in the extended, I am going to look at this new energy that will be coming forward to kind of give you an idea of what to be aware of as you are moving forward. Let me give you one last card from the Mindset and Affirmation deck. Our little Mindset Unicorn deck. All right, summer. So this could be twofold, both that it's, it's summertime is when this person would be coming forward, as well as the symbolizing. So summer symbolizes energy, space, and opportunity. It is time to surrender to the joy of standing in warm rays. The summer solstice is very powerful for manifesting desires. Summertime is always the best of what might be, Charles Bowden. So allow things through the spring to grow, to blossom, taking your time so that when summertime comes, you are manifesting this. So take in that summer energy and allow this to happen at the pace that it needs to happen. So I hope that clarifies things for you, Sagittarius. And I will see you in the extended if this resonated. If not, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, um, so that you might have the opportunity to see this extended at the end of next week. Also, on Sunday, I am doing the April forecasts for what I call love, sex, and emotion for all of the signs. So after you've watched this, make sure that you go look at the videos, find that premiere, get the little link, click on it in the little box to make sure that you get notified when yours goes live so that you can see the April. So 
I will see you then and have a great rest of your day or join me in the extended. Bye.